Hello guys, Tree Climber 8 here, and as you can tell, I am not doing a computer craft tutorial today. Today, I am going to be doing a new thing I was thinking of starting called Wookie Industrials. That's what this stands for, not the postal code for Wisconsin. So, what I was thinking this series would be is it'd be where I take something, probably using red power, and show you how to make it. Usually, a very fairly complex thing like a red power mining quarry which I will get to eventually. But no, today I was thinking of starting with more of the relative basics and doing a flying machine thingy. So yes, as you, I've already stated, I'm not playing Technic. I'm playing the Overload mod pack that Truebot made for us. It is using 1.4.7 and has quite a bit of mods as you can already see. And one last thing, as you can tell here, I'm using a new skin here that I feel is quite accurate. I'm a steampunk Wookiee, sir. Wookiee with glass goggles up top and a suit. I'm quite fond of this. So, bring our GUI back. Get rid of all this stuff. So this frame structure we're coming up to here is the thing that we're going to make. So here we have solar panels and everything. And down here we have a whole bunch of frame motors. I'm not going to make this exactly because while thinking, I'm not sure what that was. Probably like Thalmcraft or something. But while thinking, I'm thinking I can thought I could probably make this space down here a bit smaller. And goodbye. No Skype. Bad. Hey. So. Alright. Not sure what all that is, but we'll go with it. So first thing to get started out with while doing that is you need to find the frames. If you can hear what I'm hearing, the you should hear small explosions in the background. If you cannot, either I'm hallucinating severely or it's not going through on fraps. One or the other. So, to start out with, we need support frames, battery box to power the frame motors, solar panel, obviously some frame motors. Um, going to need some of this wiring. The micro blocks. You can use any one of these that you'd like. Myself, hmm, I prefer the iron. So we have iron cover. We also need, um, we also need the iron panel. So one quick distinction between the two of them, uh, no problem, is that the panel is the one you use to prevent stuff touching it from moving. The cover is the one that you, I guess, have it where you want stuff to move, like wires and stuff like that. So I'm gonna need, uh, I'm gonna need another one of them. Let's see, so another one of you. This looks like a pretty good spot, actually. So put this down. Take you. Um, no. What iron panel? Maybe for the panel, I need to put two of them together. Let's see. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's the other way around, I'm not certain. Let's see here. Get rid of that. Uh huh. Pop you off. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, you little bugger? There he is. Okay. So actually it's the iron cover that you want to prevent it. 
and you, sir, right here, or the iron panel. Okay, so I have it, I had it mixed up. My bad. So, first things first, we need to get ourselves a 9x9 nine nine platform a little ways up in the air. So again, this here is going to be the this here is going to be the in, main engine thing that drives it. Okay, so yes, this will be so drive it. Will be the thing that moves it around. Unfortunately, since this is not Zeppelin mod, which in some cases I'm thankful for, because that was really glitchy. Like you'd be driving along in the middle of the air above an ocean like probably a few thousand blocks up you all of a sudden it start glitching out on you next thing you know you'd be in the ocean seeing your ship flying away and that's when you realize you're about about 10 kilometers or so from your home and that's of course the time when you have all your diamonds and other valuable stuff on you so this is a lot better because, you know, in some instances, a bit worse than that, it doesn't, you can't turn. So you can only go in the four cardinal directions and up. Which means that you're a bit limited. And also, but it's better in that you don't phase through in these blocks like you did in Zeppelin mod. And, although it does tend to cause a bit more lag. Oops, we got the row over here. Like, currently right now you can see on that display over on my left hand side, which is a tad bit annoying, that somehow I'm only getting 10 frames a second. Odd. But, oh well. We'll see what this comes down to. We're likely not going to get to setting up too much of the frames in this episode. Anyway. So... Got the center there. We're just my mind. What I'm building here is the thing for the solar panels to charge the batteries. It's only gonna be temporary because what I like is I'd like this to actually be eventually kind of in the boils of the ship. Our solar panels here. Just plunk. Plunk down a couple batteries. Yes, I do like things to be very symmetrical. There we go. Got that. So those should start charging. Um, okay, as we can... If you can see on my display there, it's about... This is quite handy because it does... Oh, nope, that doesn't work. But it does show you the time of day in Minecraft. So currently it is about 10.30 in the morning in Minecraft, which is not the time that it is right now. So, what we need to do for to get the frame motors going is we need to put one of these here in each one of these corners. I'm not certain if this block is necessary, but it certainly helps. I can imagine. Forgot one quick thing. Thing that I need from the tools that is one of them screwdrivers uh -huh, I must have missed it aha here we go get rid of you so this is where it gets fun trying to figure out which orientation each of these things goes in but I think we got you here you here So I want you to be facing up, I believe. There we go. You can be like that. We need to be orientated like that. So essentially, what this is here is once I... Uh, yeah, you're going the wrong way. There we go. Now I just need to put this back. Okay. So what this is going to be here is, 
This frame motor is going to stay where it is when it gets powered, but it's going to move this entire structure one block in that direction, which means it's going to stay there, and relative to the rest of the block is now going to be right here, which means we're going to need one of these. So then this thing here is, is going to fire about a s second or so after this one, and then move it back up to here. So essentially it's kind of like a little caterpillar method. And this one stays where it is, moves all these blocks, including that one, and then this one moves back up. So now I just need to do that with the other three sides. I'm going to check this one figure out which orientation I have the other ones in. Real quick. Alrighty, which way do I have this one going? Uh, can't. Uh, hard to see. Alrighty, I believe. Then I have it going that way. Alright. So that means then that you here, you here, you here, all right, like that. Uh -huh. Probably, oh, yep, had it right multiple times. All right, so if you're wondering, the controls for this. It is normal right click to spin it like this, and then shift right click to spin it the other way. You know, so it it realigns what direction it's facing, not which direction it'll push the block. So that means that this one needs to go that way. That means you. No, I got you facing the wrong way. Dang it. You realign both of you. There we go. It's like that. No, you here. Dang it. Just had it. There we go. Like that. Um, yep, that's going the right direction. And now for the final one. Uh, yep, this one here is the one I need to go that way. And you. Uh huh. Oh, leg spike. You need to go like that. So, this is what you're going to want your setup to look like somewhat I mean how you have your how you have this is entirely up to you and again this is only temporary but this here is what you are going to need <laughs> sorry about that I've not been feeling too well as of late but we have this here all right the oh wait need these covers here you you and you, if you forget those, it's rather important because it means that this will be right there in relative to other things, and it won't go back and it'll be really annoying. So now what we need to do is we need, on the outsides here, we need to put, oh, dang it. And how you can tell if you have it correctly is the ones that block it should look something like that with the border all the way around. These ones here should have the border all around plus the little corner things you can see right there. So now we need... So now this is where we plug you guys, hook you guys up. Like so. Alright, bat boxes are looking pretty well. Just... Uh, uh, uh. And like so. Yeah. 
Alrighty. So now we hook up the wires. Yes, I could have done it with only one of those, but my OCD would not have liked me. There we go. So now those things are hooked up, ready to go. All I need is a redstone signal. I would recommend using wireless redstone for several reasons. One, it means you can control things much from a removed location. Eh. And also, I found that buttons, when attached to this thing, when it moves, tend to get a bit glitchy and not like to reorientate themselves. So, a view there, you there. We'll make you channel one, have you set as <coughs> reset. Because set name, so it is it's going to, that means it's going to reset that one to where it should be. Oops, just passed it. So now, again, since we have, I guess, no relevance of left and right in here, because, I mean, we could be facing this way and say that way's forward, this way's left, this way's right. Then we could be facing this way, say this way's forward, this is left, which was forward before, and now this is right, which would have been backwards before. So, I guess I'd just simplify it by calling them directional names, by going 1, 2, 3, and 4, and of course up, which is relative to pretty much anything, thanks to gravity. And then down, again, rel relative to about any direction, thanks to gravity. So, we'll just, we'll call you, um, move two. Well, we'll just go dire point two. Uh, that, that dire there would be short for exclamation. Uh, dang. Move dire point two like that. So set name and there we go. So we have that all done there. We have this side done. These other sides here to to do left. So yeah. We'll come back in a couple more videos, finish up this, and probably even make a ship around it so that we can, you know, cruise around the skies. There's so much stuff you can do with this. You can make, you know, a floating home, battleship, bomber, any number of things. So, this is Tree Climber 8. I'll be, see you back, guys back next episode. Bye.